Hello everybody, this is Charles and I am back with another review this time for Bandai's Metal Build Gundam S3 Red Frame Alright, so this is the uh, Red Frame uh, box Okay, it's a very nice box and over here some uh, box art on uh, Red Frame, disposability and accessories and a sword Alright, so I'm gonna just uh, take the box away Without further ado, I'm just gonna go to the figure itself So, let me adjust the camera a little bit downward It's alright, focus on Red Frame Alright, so this is the uh, Metal Build Red Frame figure Okay, first off uh, I'd like to say my initial impressions of this I read a lot of comments uh, Especially on the Hong Kong toy bots They were A lot of people were complaining about the white on the red frame Saying it's, it looks cheap and it's too plasticky and looks uncoated um, Okay, but here's my take I, I'm looking at the white plastic right now Okay, it is um, In fact uh, in my opinion, it's more like glossy uh, type of uh, white plastic And indeed, okay, there isn't much paint It's more like, you know, the natural color plastic, okay That means it comes out more with this color And then there isn't much work done to it Apart from uh, adding the decals and the markings But if you were to watch the anime, okay You realize that this white is actually anime accurate So I have no idea why There are some collectors who just keep complaining about the white I mean this is such a highly sought after figure and uh, a lot of people are unable to get it, okay? Uh, so if, if you're one of those people who are not happy with the white color, you can always cancel your pre-orders, be it online or, or, or from the shop that you got it from. Cancel your pre-orders so that those who really want it can get it. You know, just quit complaining, alright? Okay, I hope you don't mind me saying this, but I, I just had a lot of frustrations reading about people who just keep complaining about a toy. Uh, in, my, in my opinion, really, I think the white is nice. I personally like it, okay? I personally endorse it, okay? I think it's nice, it's screen accurate. So I don't think it looks cheap, okay? I, I like the way it looks, so... Yeah, here's my take. So, yes. So, it's a very, very nice figure. I, I like it and the decals are very detailed. You see a lot of de details over here in the decals and around the figure. And uh, red-wise, there's two, two shades. Uh, there's three shades of red, okay, basically. There's the brighter shade of red, okay, the more uh, maroon, okay, metallic color shade of red And then there's also the die-cast chrome red So for metal build uh, red frame, whatever you see is die-cast chrome Okay, whatever you see sorry, is shiny chrome, is die-cast So there is a lot of uh, die-cast in this figure, especially in the lower legs So let me just show a little bit over here, just lift up the skirt Okay So the entire uh, Waist section, uh, bottom down is die cast, so it's the leg Okay, leg section for the thighs, over here is die cast Over here at the back Okay, this metallic red part is die cast, all the way down to the knees, inside is die cast Ankles die cast, and you can see at the bottom of the feet, die cast as well For the shoulders wise Okay the joint over here is die cast, elbows are die cast Inner part of the uh, shoulder joint uh, it's die cast as well So there is a lot of die cast in this figure Alright, so that's why it, it, it works, it's worthy the name of um, Metal Build So it's really wonderful So some points to note about this uh, figure Alright, so let me just go into some things first uh, before I go into articulation So over here the crest, okay, the uh, What do you call it, the crest over here the V crest, there's only one, okay, it's only, it only comes with one, the plastic one, and it is plastic, so it, it is fragile, so be really, really careful, and it pops off really easily, so see, it pops off really easily, so uh, during, a, so as you handle the figure, you don't be surprised if the crest keeps falling off, because it doesn't stay on really tight, it stays decently tight, okay, but if you accidentally were to, uh, I mean, to touch it uh, or, or flip it, it will fall off. So if you just shake it really, really hard this way, it won't fall off. But I said yesterday, just tap it this way, it will fall off. Which is good because uh, if it doesn't fall off and stay too tightly, you might end up breaking the uh, V fin. So I think it's a good thing that it falls off. Okay, just and and moreover, this is a collector toy. You don't expect to play a toy like a four or five year old kid. You just pose it and just leave it aside. So it's okay that the. Um, you are careful with uh, handling it. So in terms of articulation wise for the neck, you can see the head. You, can, you can't do really a 360 rotation because over here, the let me just highlight this part. Over here, 
the back part all right over here of the white of the head over here this back part will knock against the chest part over here so as you rotate the head okay you will be restricted in the sense so uh, I would say the um, angle that you can rotate the head uh, without obstruction is about maybe 45 degrees uh, left and right so once you hit the 45 degree this white part will actually come against this black part over here so that's the uh, problem that you have okay so over here the uh, shoulders wise you can lift the pads up this much arms you can go beyond 90 degrees okay and then you can rotate the uh, arm 360 the, tight, the joint is really really tight so I'm not going to rotate it uh, at the oops see the fin came off again because I accidentally tap on it okay so you can ro okay, so rotation wise 360 over here you can ro you can ro rotate at the uh, bicep and over here you have double jointed elbows okay let me just show this okay double jointed elbows okay 360 for the wrist okay and then the wrist wise you can actually lift it slightly over here this is joint that lift it slightly really really slightly okay up and down you can see really really slightly just very little bit okay and then over here at the wrist you can move it sideways okay do note that for this okay let me just pull out the face over here the joint over here can you move sideways it doesn't move up and down so do not attempt to uh, move the fist too much up okay uh, as much as I think that the plastic is hard and solid do not test the endurance and end up breaking something all right so another cool feature over here is that when you move the uh, shoulders up here over up and down you can see this portion this part of the uh, chest okay it follows Okay, let me just push it down a little bit over here so it follows the movement of the uh, upper shoulders. And over here, the upper shoulders can actually uh, move slightly as well. Okay, front and back. Okay, and then uh, let me just wipe my hands. And then for the uh, chest wise, it can move forward this much. Okay, move backwards this much. So not a lot, but decent. And you can also move the uh, chest body sideways. You cannot rotate, okay? There's no waist rotation, okay? Not that I know of, okay? And not that I'm gonna attempt to try because I tried to turn it but it just doesn't turn. So I assume there's no waist rotation and the instructions don't mention any waist rotation either. Okay, so we're done with the upper body. So moving on over here, the sides, you can lift this up. You can lift the side skirts up. Okay, the legs can actually lift about 45 degrees uh, upwards. You can rotate them, okay, but it's really, really tight. In terms of upward motion, okay, it can raise up to about 90 degrees, okay, about 90 degrees, I think it's more like 80 degrees thereabouts. So the interesting feature about the legs, okay, is that it's the, the double jointed knee and the thigh mechanism. So when you rotate the, when you move the knees, okay, you'll see this part moving downwards. See, you'll slowly see the plate shifting downwards, which is really, really cool. And you see the pistons as well at the bottom. Let me just show you guys uh, in a moment. So over here, you see, as you um, move the legs, okay, the plates will actually move as well. So let me just reverse this. See the plates collapse. Moving here, the plates will shift forward. So which is really really nice. I love the engineering of of, of this. Okay, and then this is how much you can move for the knees, double jointed knees, really cool. So this plate, you can see this, and then there's a piston over here. Okay, collapses. So it's really cool. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Alright, let me just shift this downwards. Okay, and then moving down to the um, lower leg. Okay, you can see that the ankles have a uh, side motion. Okay, you can also move the uh, feet downwards this much, forward this much. Okay, so you can basically spread his pose this way. Okay. So over here for the back, uh, before you actually assemble, the, move the back part upwards, okay? You actually have to assemble this, so you need to plug this in over here at the back, same as what you did for the gold frame. So next thing what you need to do actually, oops, see the crest keeps falling off, the fin, the fin keeps falling off. Then I might have to put it back. So you need to push the neck forward, okay, lift the neck upwards, lift this portion upwards, and then you lift this, you will align this piece, okay, into this, this hole over here. Okay, just tap it in. Okay, once it's tapping nicely, you will rotate this downwards, and then you'll tap this in, lock it in place, and there you have the uh, the booster pack done. 
All right, one thing to note also about this portion, okay, this, okay, you need to actually, I'll, I'll show this feature later. So for this, you can even rotate it side to side, you can't move it upwards, okay? So do not attempt to move it upwards because it is not meant to move upwards. You can even rotate sideways, okay? So over here is the jetpack. You can place it this way or this way, okay? And then the uh, thrusters, you can move them as well, okay? Over here. Uh, so right now let's go through a little feature. Okay, so basically for ashtray to be seated on a stand, it has this feature over here. This part, okay, it's an extra part. You actually slot it in underneath over here, and this part you actually peg it in over here. So the instructions actually says that you can actually peg it in completely. You can peg it in completely, but it is very very tight, and you have to angle it really precisely in order to push this whole thing inside. Uh, what I felt is that you don't really need to push the whole thing inside. You can just pack it in, okay, this way it's really tight and then you just still hold the figure over here, see at the stand, you can see? You can still hold the figure decently and it will not be crooked. So uh, I would recommend not to do that because when you slot this in and you keep pushing it in, there is a chance that you will scratch the markings over here. So this red part is actually markings, okay, uh, on, on this piece of uh, grey plastic. So I would recommend not pushing it because when you push it in, there's this contact point between this white part and this part, so you might end up scratching it. And especially when you remove it, if you are really have it all the way in, it's tight, you need to keep wriggling, wriggling it to get it out. I'm sure you'll end up uh, scratching this uh, decals imprint. So uh, yeah, just make sure, just just put it in this way will do. You don't have to slot it all the way in, unless you are a perfectionist. If not, you do, you do not need to push it all in. Just tap it in, it stays really, really tight in place, and just pluck it out when you need to, all right? So uh, let me just go through uh, some of the accessories that it has. Okay, the uh, one of the key accessories it has is the Gabara Straight. Okay, this is the hand the holder of the sword. It's really nice. You can actually have this motion whereby you can actually lift up. Okay. Uh, what's best is this katana. It's really like a, a Japanese katana. It's made to be like an actual blade where you slot into this part and you lock it in place. It's really really cool. And there's some uh, curvings, carvings on the Chinese carvings, uh, Gabara straight over here on, on, on the blade itself. I'm sorry that my camera is not high resolution so I can't show you the words but it's really cool. Only thing not cool about this blade is that it's pure plastic. So <laughs> I wish it was die cast. If this blade is die cast, it would have been perfect. A titanium color coated, the uh, gunmetal silver coated uh, die cast blade but unfortunately it's just plastic. Uh, but the saving grace is that the details are really nice. Okay, the details are really nice for this blade. Okay, it's like over here you can see the details of a katana. So what you do over here, okay, first thing you just slot this uh, handle over here into the blade. And next thing you just slot the blade in all the way. And yeah, there you have it. So the blade actually locks in very tightly, which is really cool. Let me just wipe the blade first. Okay, just clean it. Okay, make sure I have uh, no sweat so it doesn't corrode. Let's slot it in. And there you have it. Okay, and it holds on really tight, it will not fall off. So next thing I think is a very nice feature is that you see this portion over here, this gap over here. Is that when you slot in the blade, you can see the blade actually go in. So it's really, really cool. See, you see there's a blade going in. Okay, you see the uh, ashtray's face over here. And the blade goes in. Really nice. Really, really nice. So um, there's two taps over here. Okay, one tap here, one tap here. But of course, the blade doesn't fit into this tap. It can fit in, but it doesn't. It's not supposed to. So it's supposed to uh, tap it in over here. Okay, and then you can actually rotate it. Okay, depending on how you want to pose it, which is really cool. Have it over here. Okay. So over here, the uh, you can pull this out. Okay, quite tight. Okay, it's really tight inside. Okay, you can pull this out. And this is for the uh, beam saber, so there's two of them. Okay, you have the beam saber, but why use the beam saber when you have a katana? Okay, so this is the beam saber feature. So I'll slot this uh, back. So you gotta make sure you slot in correctly. There are two ways to slot in, but you need to make sure you uh, slot in correctly with. Um, okay. Basically, you see, this is the one facing the back. Okay, this portion, the okay, the shorter end over here fits into the back. So, 
slot it in nicely there you have it okay and then uh, the other weapon that it comes with is this uh, rifle okay very nice you can actually move the uh, handle as well so you can have this sort of pose like a Gundam okay and then this you can actually, be t uh, you can actually uh, take this tap out so this okay will be tapped onto the uh, jet, uh, the flight unit okay so this can only be held by a flight unit so uh, there's no tap okay it doesn't fit in anywhere okay so the Gundam itself a red frame can't hold can't, there's no slot for you to put the uh, gun I think it doesn't even fit in at the back no it doesn't yeah, the instructions do, do not show that it fits in at the back and it really doesn't fit in so uh, yeah this is a uh, a shame, you know. I would wish, I would hope that he can actually. There's actually a slot for him to actually keep his um, gun, but apparently there isn't. Uh, another accessory comes with this very very nice shield. Okay, so this shield you can actually just slot into the uh, back of the arm over here. There's a hole over here. Just pack it in, so you can pack it into either the right or the left arm. For for this case, I'm gonna, for this case, I'm gonna put it in the left arm. So you can put it here this way, or you can adjust the uh, shield. Okay. Okay, you can actually rotate it and adjust it such that it's facing forward. Okay, let me just rotate this. Okay. Yeah, so you can actually rotate it such that it's actually sideways as such. Okay, so for now, let me just take the uh, shoe portion out. It comes with a lot, lot, lot of hands, okay? So it comes with a uh, lot of spare hands for various purposes uh, and various. So the hands are like for. Uh, open hands, open fist, sorry, and then the closed fist for the guns, closed fist for the beam saber, and closed fist for the katana. And there's also one special one for holding a katana. So, in this video, I'm just going to show this special uh, fist. So, this is the one whereby you put it over here, and then you can actually place the uh, hand over here, the fist, okay, just to sort of simulate him holding on to the sword. Over here, preparing to uh, draw it. So it's very nice pose, preparing to draw the sword. And uh, this hand, okay, is meant to hold the katana, which I'm trying to do the pose of him drawing the sword. Let me see. I didn't try this. I'm gonna try this on video. I hope it works. Okay, I certainly hope it works. Okay, if it doesn't work, uh, well, too bad. So basically, I'm just gonna take this fist out first. I'm gonna slot this in okay let me just draw the, f the katana out first so I'm slotting it in so the uh, fists are all rubbery so it's pretty easy okay pretty soft now I'm gonna put this back in over here so I think I hope I got the angle right Okay, I got the okay. So basically, you can have the sword this way. But I'm just trying to show the sword. Um, just gonna show the sword in. Let me just see if I can fit it in. So I'm gonna fit it in over here first, and I'm trying to uh, pose the arm such that he can show that he's drawing the sword. Yeah, I know this is the feature that you show in the uh, design, but apparently I'm having a little problem doing that on camera right now okay so I can't I can't seem to show it, the, the arm seems to be too far away I think I might need to pull this this portion out so let me just pull this portion out put this in okay okay I'm gonna be really careful I'm just not trying to break anything and Okay, I'm just gonna show him holding onto the Kabara straight. Okay. Okay, it doesn't seem to be uh, exactly right, but yeah, okay. I think it's probably the best I can do for now on, on camera. To show the ashtray pulling out the Gabara Street, but the Gabara Street is uh, detached from his uh, leg. Maybe I should move his leg a little bit forward. Let me just try and see. I'm looking at the uh, instruction manual right now, I'm trying to see if I can uh, get the angle correct. 
okay I think I got a, a quite a nice angle uh, okay let me just okay slot this in over here okay adjust it okay so I think uh, this is probably the best I can I, I can do really for now really really this is the best I can do to uh, show the Astray pulling out his uh, katana. Yep, this is really the best I can do. I think yeah, this is the this is the correct way to have it done. So this is yes, Astray with his uh, red Astray with his uh, pulling out his katana. So this is a pose that you can get it done. Um, you can push it in further if you want to. There, you can push the blade further in if you want to. Yeah, it looks, it fits well. Yep. So it's really cool. Let me just try to adjust this a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna try and adjust it and I not to such an extent that I do not end up breaking anything. Even though I think I might be in danger of doing that if I were to force it. Okay. Yeah, but I think that's pretty much about it. Uh that's as far as I, I can I can go for Ray Astray holding on to the uh katana and drawing the sword. I'm gonna sort of show him drawing out the sword anyway. Yeah, it's much nicer. Okay, I'm gonna slot this back in. I'm gonna show you him holding on this. I'm gonna adjust the uh, angle of the blade. Have him. Yes! Oh, this is a nice pose. Bato! Yeah! So, this ashtray. Okay, I'm gonna put him in a nice dynamic pose. Draw out the sword. Okay, so this is Astray. Yep, I like him in this pose, uh, drawing of the uh, samurai sword. Very, very nice. Um, so, personally, I think it's a, it's a very nice production. Uh, I think Bandai did a good job for Red Frame Astray. It's really, really cool. And, and I like the diecast content, I like the uh, engineering and everything, I like how everything looks. Uh, there are certain sharp points that you need to be really careful of. Uh, so, uh, but this is an adult toy, okay. So uh, you're meant to be careful when handling the uh, the, f the figure. And uh, in my next video review, I'll go through more in detail of how of, of the flight unit and how it uh, works together with Astray. So here's Charles signing off with yet another toy review. I hope you guys en have enjoyed. Do stay tuned to my channel for more reviews next time. For those people who are not happy with the white color, you can always cancel your pre-orders, be it online or, uh, or from the shop that you got it from. Cancel your pre-orders so that those who really want it can get it. You know, just quit complaining, all right? Okay, I hope you don't mind me saying this, but I, I just had a lot of frustrations reading about people who just keep complaining about a toy. Uh, you know, in my opinion, really, I think the white is nice. I personally like it. Okay, I personally endorse it. Okay, I think it's nice. It's screen accurate, so I don't think it looks cheap. Okay, I, I like the way it looks. So, yeah, here's my take. So yes, so it's a very very nice figure. I I like it, and the decals are very detailed. You see a lot of de details over here in the decals and around the figure. And uh, red wise, there's two two shades. Uh, there's three shades of red. Okay, basically. There's the brighter shade of red for the shoulders wise. Okay, the joint over here is die cast, elbows are die cast, inner part of the uh, shoulder joint uh, is die cast as well. So there is a lot of die cast in this figure, alright? So that's why it, it, it works, it's worthy the name of um, Metal Build. So it's really wonderful. So some points to note about this uh, figure, all right. So let me just go into some things first uh, before I go into articulation. So over here, the crest, okay, the uh, what do you call it, the crest over here, the V crest. There's only one, okay. It's only, it only has one, the plastic one, and it is plastic, so it, it is fragile. So be really, really careful. And it pops off really easily. So see, it pops off really easily. So uh, during the, okay, the more uh, maroon okay metallic color shade of red and then there's also the die cast chrome red so for metal build uh, red frame whatever you see is die cast chrome okay whatever you see sorry, is shiny chrome is die cast so there is a lot of uh, die cast in this figure especially in the lower legs so let me just show a little bit over here just lift up the skirt okay 
so the entire uh, waist section uh, bottom down is die cast so it's the leg okay leg section for the thighs over here is die cast over here at the back okay this metallic red part is die cast all the way down to the knees inside is die cast ankles die cast and you can see at the bottom of the feet die cast as well it looks cheap and it's too plasticky and looks uncoated um, okay but here's my take I am looking at the white plastic right now okay it is um, in fact uh, in my opinion it's more like glossy uh, type of uh, white plastic and indeed okay there isn't much paint it's more like you know the natural color plastic okay that means it comes out more with this color and then there isn't much work done to it apart from uh, adding the decals and the markings but if you were to watch the anime okay you realize that this white is actually anime accurate so i have no idea why there are some collectors who just keep complaining about the white i mean this is such a highly sought after figure and uh, a lot of people are unable to get it okay uh, so if if you're one of Hello everybody, this is Charles and I am back with another review this time for Bandai's Metal Build Gundam S3 Red Frame Alright, so this is the uh, Red Frame uh, box Okay, it's a very nice box and over here some uh, box art on uh, Red Frame, disposability and accessories and a sword Alright, so I'm gonna just uh, take the box away Without further ado, I'm just gonna go to the figure itself So, let me adjust the camera a little bit downward It's alright, focus on Red Frame Alright, so this is the uh, metal build red frame figure. Okay, first off, uh, I like to say my initial impressions of this. I read a lot of comments, uh, especially on the Hong Kong toy bots. There were a lot of people were complaining about the white on the red frame, saying it's 